Hey, what's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're taking a look at the last model in the CRKT CEO lineup that I hadn't checked out yet, the CRKT CEO Micro Flipper here on the right. So from left to right, we have the original CEO, the compact, which isn't a lot bigger than the Micro Flipper, and then of course the Micro Flipper on the right. And one thing you may have noticed right off the bat is that this isn't your regular CEO Micro Flipper model. This is their recent collab with Supreme. And if you know anything about Supreme, it's that they're not just gonna anodize the handles red, call it Supreme, Supreme Red and that's the collaboration. They're gonna get their logo on there and in some cases it may be the most extreme billboarding you've ever seen on the knife like with the Benchmade bug out and this is a Supreme collab obviously but not quite as extreme as this scenario, but let's take a look at what they did do on the micro flipper. So we'll get this turned around and you can see a little bit more subdued. This one is limited to the handle, so a little more obvious how subdued it is when we take out that blade. Nice sterile sheep's foot blade there, no coating whatsoever. So overall, I do think this looks good. I really love the Supreme Red anodization, even if it didn't have the text, I think that's really great looking. So this looks pretty good. If I did have one complaint, I would say I wish they scaled it down just 5% or so and made it so the S was not sitting on the pivot went from in between the pivot to in between the body screw, I think it would look a little bit better. Or if you're not gonna do that, full send it, do exactly what you did on the bug out, go wall to wall, including the blade. I buy these a little bit more for the novelty at this point, so I don't mind those extreme cases, but I do understand why they went this way. The CEO is meant to be a gentleman's knife, so this is a little bit more classy, but it still says Supreme on your knife, so like I said, I wouldn't have minded seeing them go a little bit more extreme with this, but overall, I do think it looks pretty good. Now the other thing people know Supreme for is the Supreme tax. And I think it would surprise a lot of people to know that the markup isn't as extreme as most people who aren't familiar with Supreme might think. It's where they get that reputation is all from the secondary. However, there is a markup. They are collabing to make money. Supreme is basically a branding company. They don't do many, if any, of their own products. And so you are gonna pay a markup. The original version of the Micro Flipper was $60. This one is 78. And I did get this in the drop, just like all of my Supreme EDC gear. Don't buy them on the secondary because there is quite a markup. And you know, that is a good thing and a bad thing. With the knife market right now, it's down quite a bit. A lot of knives don't retain their value. If you're selling even the premium knives, you're gonna take a loss on them. With these, you can sell them for a little bit more than what you paid for them. In some cases, a lot more than what you paid on them, depending on the demand for them. And so I guess that could be a good thing, but the reason so far I've stuck to only get stuff available in drops is because I don't want to pay that secondary price. But that $18 markup is pretty similar to what we've seen on some of the other items like the snippet from SOG collaboration with Supreme, even that Boker slip joint. I think this was the mini tech tool if I remember correctly similar markup. In fact, the only one that was kind of an exception was the bug out, which is funny because they're known, Benchmade's known for having their butterfly tax. This one was actually cheaper than the aluminum version of the bug out that bug out sales sells now, or that Benchmade sells. And there is a slight step down in the steel. We still get S30B. This is a configuration that you can't actually buy, but their aluminum handled version, I think was like eight or nine dollars more than this version. So that was kind of a funny thing. But with that said, let's get into the knife itself. As you can see, pretty small knife, 5.46 inches overall. Let's compare that to the other two models. So we'll get this out of the way, move this one, and start with the original. First thing you may notice with the original, no flipper tab. This one is a thumb stud deployment. This one is the Blade HQ exclusive version. We also have tip down carry instead of tip up. This one's a little bit of a weird placement. We see that change on both of the other models. Definitely preferable. I don't like that this one has the CRK. KT logo since it's meant to be carried in your shirt pocket and pass as a pen. The other two do a much better job of that. And this one is branded. So if anyone Googles it, you will find that it's a knife company. And so thumb stud deployment, it doesn't look like you have much access to that thumb stud, but it's actually pretty easy to deploy. Much harder to close because you don't have much access to the liner lock. In fact, you have to kind of put your nail into that notch to get on that liner lock. But let's lay this one down first. And then we'll take a look at that compact. Pretty big difference between the original 
CEO and the Compact. This one does have a slightly different style of flipper tab than we see on the Micro Flipper, but they did change over to that new pocket clip system. I think this one's much better. It's a little bit more shallow, but it looks a lot better and also is reversible. The mounting is better. It sits in your pocket and this is all that's going to be exposed is the top of that pocket clip and the portion that's outside of your pocket. So let's get this one open and you can see the difference here. Now I did mention different style of flipper tabs. Not One's not really better than the other. This one does have a heavier detent, but they're both pretty consistent in their deployment. So the difference between the CEO and the compact is probably about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters where the compact to the micro is only about an inch, maybe even a little bit less than an inch. And so a lot less of a difference there, but let's get these moved out of the way and we'll finish with this knife. And then we'll take a look at all of the Supreme EDC gear that I have so far. So 5.46 inches overall, it has aluminum handles. And so that's gonna keep the weight down. We're looking at 1.67 ounces, super lightweight. Actually, one thing we should mention uh, comparing to the compact is the handle length. So this one has a three and a quarter inch handle and I can get all four fingers on that with my fingers open, but as soon as I close them, my pinky ends up falling off the bottom there. So this is really a three finger grip where I can get a full four finger grip on that compact. Even though it's not that much of a difference, my pinky stays on there. I will say though that the micro flipper is a little bit more comfortable because with that fourth finger there, the pocket clip is pushing into the inside of my pinky knuckle here and I feel it a little bit. It's not extremely uncomfortable, but with the micro flipper, since the pinky falls off, the pocket clip is kind of disappearing behind that third knuckle and you really don't feel it. So less of a hot spot, even though you get less fingers on it, you're obviously trading off a little bit of grip there though. 2.21 inches on that blade. I think I already talked about this one having the sheep's foot blade versus a drop point on a couple of the other models. 12C27N still still on that steel. So that's a fine budget steel that you see it on razors and stuff. This one did not come extremely sharp, but decent edge on it, it's not horrible. But 12C27 does take a really nice edge and is easy to sharpen, so no problem with that. We do have ball bearings on here, nice smooth action overall easy to deploy with that flipper. The detent's lighter than the compact, but still easy enough that it's actually pretty difficult to fail that deployment. And liner lock that you have decent access to, no problem getting in there like you did with the original CEO. And so decent access on that. And again, the pocket clip is reversible and really, really a nicer pocket clip than the original. We also have that tip up carry, full deep carry on here and just looks nice overall. Now, these are Richard Rogers design on all three of them. So you're gonna see the same designer mark on all of them. We don't get that on the micro flipper. I'm not sure if that's the case on the other micro flippers or just because this one's a collab, but usually they'll have his maker's mark somewhere on there. So you can see it here, Rogers design. And on the CEO, you actually get that Rogers design as well, right underneath the CEO text. We have different blade steels on all of these as well. But again, this is the same as you're gonna find on all of the other micro flippers. So I wouldn't really expect them to change. That's not something we see a ton of with the C or with the Supreme collaborations. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool knife. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. At this point for me, it's a little bit of a sub collection that I'm kind of committed to at this point. I'm only really buying stuff that drops. My buddy's really into like Supreme jackets and shoes. And so when he sees EDC gear, he'll shoot me a message on Instagram and I try and pick it up. I haven't had any issues. This, I set an alarm for a minute before they drop, which is always on Thursdays at 8 a.m. here. And I have had no issues getting any of the EDC gear. I think some of it is a little bit more in demand and so maybe a little bit more difficult, but the EDC gear at least lasts a few minutes and so hasn't been much of a problem, but trying to stay away from buying them on the secondary, paying that markup. But let's take a look at some of the other EDC gear that I have in my collection. Sorry, my dog's making a lot of noise right now if that's picking up, but already showed the snippet briefly. I've done a video on this one. The SOG snippet has that brass with the Supreme on one side and the SOG on the other. Scissor based multi-tool. That one is very cool. We've shown the bug out already, so might as well get that one out of the way as well. 
didn't show the back of this one. So we have the extreme billboarding on the other side and then the all red side. And I would love a version of this with all red without the Supreme logo. I think this looks really cool. I wouldn't mind an all blue version as well, but that is our bug out. We also have the boker, which I've already shown the slip joint. This one does actually glow in the dark. I don't think it's going to show up very well here on camera because of the bright, bright lights, but I'll try and I guess let's actually close this up. So I'm not worried about that blade. I'll kind of block some of that light out and hit it with a UV light. And you can see it has this orange glow, which looks really cool. And then as soon as it hits the light, it kind of goes back to that red, but love the color that this one glows. I think that one is really a nifty one. I actually have the original glow version without the Supreme, but that one is not red. It's a green glow. We also have the James Brand Palmer collab. This is a utility knife. This one's actually my wife. She uses it for opening almost all of her packages. And so this one's kind of cool one. I have my own Palmer, but it is not a Supreme version. And I've done a video on that. I haven't done a version on the Supreme because it's the exact same knife, but we have that. And then last but not least, we got to make a little bit of room here. We have the Zippo. And so they've done a couple of Zippos. This is something I might actually pay secondary prices for to uh, track down some of the ones that I really enjoy. This one has the repeating logo matching insert. And so it's actually a very, very cool Zippo. Now depends on what the premium on the secondary is for those, but I definitely wouldn't mind grabbing a few more Zippos from them, but we'll continue to try and track these down when they're dropping EDC gear. If I can get it at the drop, would love to hear what your favorites are down in the comments, or if you hate them all, that's fine too. Completely understandable, but I'm really enjoying this kind of sub collection that I have going with Supreme. It all started out as a bit. I was planning on checking this out and eventually selling it, but have really come to appreciate and enjoy these ones. So love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, let, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and join the channel as a member. I've done that a thousand times at this point. Can't believe I messed that up, but thanks for watching and I hope you have a great one. Take care.